Morning guys, um, appreciate all the people who have subscribed to the channel recently. Um, you guys have helped us almost double the size of the channel, it's only been a week, it's been awesome. Uh, listen to the feedback you had, stop leaving wrenches as you guys call them up here on the thing, we've taken that away. Um, we've added some screen recording software, so you won't have to view my phone, you know, sort of all blurry and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I chucked a poll up to see what video you guys wanted, want us to see us make next because we had a couple of people talking about uh, calibrating the JK BMSs. I think that's currently in the lead. I'll flash the um, I'll flash the poll up. So we're going to do that. Um, but I also had another guy ask about the solar panels. And given the circumstances, it's overcast out. I apologize for my camera, by the way. I'm having some problems with the image stabilization. But um, it's overcast out. And that sort of presented another opportunity uh coming into winter we've got a whole nother array of solar panels that were gifted to us that we could put up and we're trying to figure out whether or not we're going to need them to get through winter we suspect we will we know that some of our solar panels currently are underperforming some of the second hand panels um some other some other guys that we talk to in the off-grid forums of they swear by just going with brand new panels that it's not not even worth putting the second hand ones up so we've got a couple of decisions to make um i'm gonna get the drone up in a sec i'm gonna fly around have a look at the panels we've got, figure out how much power we should be making and you know, roughly how much power we're, we're losing through either the second hand panels being really inefficient or you know, just um, performing poorly, right? And, and do we, instead of putting up that second, or well, second array, it should be like the seventh array of second hand panels, do we potentially look at maybe spending a little bit more money? So I'm gonna try and knock those two things on the head at once. Um, someone's commented asking about the solar panels. Um, we have made videos in the past about the solar panels, but uh, I'm gonna go over it again anyway because the system's changed a fair bit. There's a lot of panels up there um, of various configurations, so. Um, so I'm going to do that, but it's a long weekend for us, so I'll make sure that I do the JK BMS um, calibration video next. So yeah, I'm going to launch that drone, but um, yeah, for all the guys who have subscribed, we really appreciate it. We're, we're just shy of being monetized, which, um, you know, it's not a huge deal, um, except that, you know, if we were able to get some support on the channel, that means we'd be able to afford to do some more videos. Um, we've got one coming up very shortly. Um, in a previous video, we, we went camping, a mate of ours, uh, battery failed. So we're hoping to build a 16 kilowatt battery at 24 volts for that. Um, so that should happen sometime in the next couple of weeks. I believe he's already ordered the cells. He wants to load it into a, you know, into a, uh, one of those professional looking sort of racks, not just have the cells loose in the back of his car like last time. So if you keep your eyes open, we should have that video coming shortly. All right, so we've got uh, the panels on the right, uh, the part of the 5.5 kilowatt system. Um, they're attached to this other smaller string that are on the tiles as well. Uh, so that's the grid tied system. Um, we don't touch that and interfere with it. Um, there's legislation in Australia about grid tied systems that you can't muck around with them once they're set up, that you're only allowed to send back a certain size, so we leave that alone. Um, then we've got this lower system is uh, attached to the 250 volt MPPT. Um, so that's set in, I think I mentioned it before, that's in the 4S uh, 3P, so there's 12 panels in total, um, and then we come out, the other new system is this one over the back here, uh, and that is um, 3S 4P, uh, attached to the 150 by 50 MPPT, then there's four more panels down the bottom there, they are attached to the, um, they're attached in addition uh, to the panels on the far side, so hang on, I'll just so those four on that little roof, let me swing the drone around, they're attached to this array. So in the morning light we get a little bit of extra power coming from, uh, from that, I mean that array would perform the best in the, uh, in the afternoon because it's west facing. Um, so to get us a little bit of additional power in the morning, uh, those four catch the morning light and they fire that MPPT up earlier in the morning. Um, the other string on this side, that string is, uh, those two, sorry, that's um, another three, uh, 3S2P, um, is attached to the same MPPT as, as, uh, as that around the back of the house. Um, then above that, there's a string of second hand panels, so what have we got there, three, six, seven, uh, yeah, seven panels, seven roughly 190 watt panels. 
that is I think from memory is attached to one of the uh, Fronius inverters um, this is 12 250 watt second hand panel so that um, the, the three strings on the uh, from the left hand side now are all second hand panels that we didn't pay bugger all for but they don't perform very well that's the problem um, so that's basically a three kilowatt uh, two strings at 1500 watts each or three kilowatts total that's attached to one of the Fronius inverters but I think from memory one of those is actually disconnected um, then along the back this this array barely works now um, my neighbours are pretty good sports about it. One of those panels is slightly overhanging. Shouldn't be, but it is. Um, what have we got? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so we're just shy. We've sort of got like 1,800 watts um, coming out of that, and that's attached to one of the micro, uh, sorry, one of the Fronius inverters as well. Um, there is some additional panels that are sort of floating around in my backyard. That's another set of second-hand panels that I picked up. Um, they were gifted to us. Didn't cost us anything, so. Um, I've been plugging them into, like, you know, swapping them out, checking which ones work and which ones don't. Um, so, yeah, what have we got there in total? Alright, so I decided not to do this um, on camera out the front because I, uh, I was trying to do mass in my head and um, I ain't the cleverest guy in the world. So, um, so what we've got is uh, the MPPT 150 by 100 is a 3S 4P configuration with a total of 4,440 watts. The 250 by 100 is a 4S 4P configuration uh, with a total of 5,920. Now, bear in mind that the um, 150 by 100 is facing into the morning sun, uh, sort of morning mid midday sun, so like north facing. Um, the 250 by 100 is west facing mostly with four panels that faced east, so they'll capture the morning sun on those four panels, but the other 12 work best at, uh, in the afternoon. Um, the 150 by 35 has got six 370 watt panels at 2,220 watts, um, and that is a 3S 2P configuration. The first Fronius is seven times 190, and this is what I like about the Fronius is that you don't have to string them, you know, into groups. You can just make really massive strings with really high voltage, and you can overcome some of the limitations of cables. So. You know, these ones require bigger, thicker cables because they're going to move a lot of current, where these ones can get away with thinner cables like 4mm squared for almost everything. Um, it's, it's one of the cost benefits of AC coupled solar. Uh, so that's 1330 watts. The second Fronius inverter is at 9 times 190, so it's uh, 1710 watts. And the last one is the 12 times 250. So that's two strings um, at 1.5 kilowatts a piece for three total. But I'm certain that one of those strings is disconnected. I'm not about to go out there and try and figure it out now because I'd likely get zapped. So I'll wait until the sun goes away and then uh, you know, I'll get a torch and, and see if I can figure it out. I'm certain one of these is unplugged. I'm sure one of the panels was having a ground fault. Um, and it was over a year ago and I haven't bothered to plug it back in yet um, or try and figure it out. So... Um, given that we're trying to figure out uh, how these panels are like performing poorly, um, sort of not being able to measure the difference between which direction they're all facing in, I think we'll just have to do a running average. Uh, if the sun comes out tomorrow, we'll uh, try and capture it while the battery's, you know, full noise getting charged um, and try and figure out exactly how poorly some of these second hand panels are performing versus their sort of newer counterparts. But I'll leave it at that today. That's I think that's enough. Um, let's see, what did we get from the total before I sign off here? It's total off grid was 17,290 watts. Um, I don't think we get anywhere near that. We sort of like get 14 kilowatts ish on average on a on a decent day. The total grid tide is 5.5, and that's often derated. I think the most we'll ever see out of that is about four kilowatts, and the solar total is 22.79. So that's a lot. Like um, that's it's a 90 kilowatt battery. If we were peaking at 22, we could fill the battery from zero to full in five hours, which is huge, right? Um, not not including our daily use or whatever the house is standing consumption is at, but still that's pretty significant, I think. Um, given the fact we're we're in the metropolitan area, it's pretty hard to find roof space to be able to put more panels up. Um, you know, like that's a lot, and it and it's completely negated our bill. So, yeah, happy days. But um, yeah, I'm going to follow up again tomorrow. So I've got the JK BMS calibration video coming as well. Um, and I'll follow up where once the sun's out, we'll do a performance comparison between today and then. How badly do they derate 
in overcast situations versus sunny situations and how much worse are the uh, other second hand panels performing versus the new panels. So anyway, that's uh, it. I'll catch you all in the next one.